Mr. Sebastian says we are taking a test. What a hmm. twist! Ben wasn't prepared. Ben is probably oh. going to lose this round. But Ben comes up with a way out. Uh -huh. Let's use a potion of invisibility. Hot glue cardboard squares and rectangles to make a little tray. Put a tube of white out into it. Fill the gaps with hot glue. Attach a bigger box on top. Cover it with a square frame. Attach a smaller detail on top of it. Put on a cap made from blocks of different sizes. Print out a pixel image of a potion of invisibility. Cut it into parts and glue them to the tube. A whiteout potion? Now that's an upgrade of the latest version. Ben immediately fixes his low grade. Hmm. But the rest of the players quickly detect the trick. Ben is cheating! That's not fair! The teacher takes the test away. His marshmallow will bring everything back into its place. Cut a cylindrical cardboard container. Paint it black inside and outside. Cut a strip of polyethylene foam to fit around the tube. Draw Marshmallow's eyes and mouth on it. Cut them out with a modeling knife. Attach the top layer to the tube. Put school supplies into it. Justice is served! Ben, it's time for you to improve your level of knowledge! Ben keeps asking Rosie for school supplies. Did you forget your pencil case? Here, take this explosive Fortnite pencil sharpener. Cut the fastening off a plastic ball with a heated utility knife. Press a hole in the center with the hot nozzle of a glue gun. Hot glue a pencil sharpener inside. Paint the ball black. Draw a grid on it using a pencil. Trace the lines with gray paint. Color separate squares with bright acrylic paint. Cut two parts of a grenade tab out of styrofoam. Smooth them with a nail file. Slightly cut the round base. Turn it over and join it with the handle of the tab. Attach screws cut out of a stick of hot glue. Color the tab with acrylic paint. Attach it to the ball. Hot glue a wire ring. Color the joint with silver acrylic paint. Boom! The boogie bomb explodes right in the gamer's hands. No one warned him that school supplies can be dangerous. Ben prepared a Minecraft explosive in response. Oops! It looks like the detonation was way too strong. Paint a square paper holder red. Cover all the sides of the holder with a printed picture of a Minecraft explosive. Fill the holder with paper. Ben almost blew up the whole school. Even the teacher suffers from the attack. This is unacceptable. You can turn boring classes into a game if you have the right school supplies. Rosie always has a fun Fortnite banana with her. Crumple foil into a banana shape. Trim the tip. Hot glue a short pencil instead. Cover the piece with thick yellow foam paper. Take legs and arms off a broken toy. Paint them yellow and fasten them to the banana. Make eyes with hot glue. 
color them with acrylic paint. Paint a red mouth. This banana just makes you want to dance. <laughs> dance your way towards the desk. And then this banana can write a note for your classmate. But Ben doesn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. That's okay, I've got something better. Where is my Enderman eraser? Cut a few block-shaped black erasers into pieces. Cut out two short and four long ones. Make hollows for eyes in one block. Attach pieces of lavender-colored eraser. Hot glue Enderman's head and body together. Add pupils with a purple ballpoint pen. Enderman quickly destroys the message from his enemy. Ben starts teleporting over the entire room like Enderman with this eraser. He scares the girls! He even finds the skull of the oldest player. Wow! This Enderman <laughs> eraser is way more fun than a regular banana pencil. Rosie and Ben are always quarreling. Jessica can't just sit by and watch hmm. her friends fighting. Like a true peacekeeper, she gives Ben a Fortnite first aid kit. Prime a lunchbox. Cover the sides with painter's tape. Make a cross out of tape on top. Color the box with red acrylic paint. Take the tape off when the paint is dry. Put pots of gouache paint into the lunchbox. It turns out there are bright paints inside. It's a set for art therapy. Painting heals all wounds. And where is Rosie's hmm. gift? Here, take a chest from Ben's favorite video game. There are colored crayons inside. Cut the flaps off a box. Wrap the box with paper tape. Coat all the sides. Cut off one third of the box to be a lid. Coat the inside of the box with black foam paper. Cover the outside with sheets of graph paper. Color the squares with different shades of brown acrylic paint. Draw black lines along the perimeter with a marker. Join the lid in the box with rectangular pieces of black foam paper. Paint gray squares on a little strip of cardboard. Attach it to the chest to be a lock. Put in crayons. Now the friends have to use each other's games. Let's create bright paintings. And we won't argue ever again. There are enough pixels for everyone. The teacher is assigning some homework. And Ben immediately brags about his new notebook. It's more than just a notebook, it's an educational Minecraft puzzle. Measure Velcro to be the height of a sketchbook. Cut strips of the right size and cover the entire sketchbook with one side of Velcro. Cut the other side of Velcro into squares. Cut out colorful squares of felt and foam rubber sheets the same way. Hot glue them to the Velcro squares and attach the pieces to the cover. Make up images of Minecraft characters from the squares. For example, Stevie's head. Ben makes up the head of the main Minecraft character from the soft pixels. He can spend all class doing this. But his neighbor also has a weird notebook from Fortnite. It's way better than any Minecraft sketchbook. Take a notebook and a Fortnite logo stencil. Put the stencil onto the cover and paint it white. Remove the stencil. Adjust it with white paint. Add decorative stars. Coat it with clear acrylic polish. Fold a printed map of the game and glue it inside the notebook. Add a title. Stevie presents all the benefits of his notebook. The image on the cover is amazing. 
But there is also a map hidden inside. You can easily plan a landing. In math class, we will land on the frozen lake. The guys are busy with their notebooks. What will the judge with the pickaxe say? But Miss Smith votes for Ben's stress-relieving notebook. Miss Smith enters the classroom. The boys turn on dance mode instead of learning. They do not respond to their teacher's remarks. Then Miss Smith takes out her new pickaxe pointer. Come on, stop it! Miss Smith is a real warrior. She will discipline them quickly with her pickaxe. The teacher asks them to show her their finished work. Stevie is all done. He made a little Fortnite marshmallow pickaxe. Shape light black clay into a cylindrical marshmallow. Roll out light white clay. Cut out a strip to fit the base. Draw the signature face and cut it out. Wrap the black base with it. Cut out a white circle for the top. Attach it to the marshmallow. Make a smaller imprint on the bottom. Put the marshmallow onto a pen. Come on, Stevie! Show us your pickaxe! This is a real marshy smasher! Excellent job! Now you can do your marshmallow dance on the desk! Ben has a weapon from his favorite game Minecraft, too! It's a diamond pickaxe pencil made from 3D pixels! Coat a pencil with black acrylic paint. Put decorative cube beads together to make a pickaxe handle. Hot glue them and color with acrylic paint. Make the top of the pickaxe out of beads, too. Attach it to the handle and color it so that it looks like the one in the game. Hot glue the pencil to the ready piece. The boys compete and compare their weapons. Both of them have excellent designs, ergonomic shapes, and most importantly, they are practical. A pencil versus a pen? Who will win? Minecraft or Fortnite? Miss Smith declares a tie with her pickaxe of justice. The score is zero to zero. Ben has a fun pencil sharpener. It's a pet sheep from Minecraft. Make two sheep legs from square beads and dice. Attach a pencil sharpener as a body. Add one more layer of dice on top. Make a sheep head from dice and beads. Paint it white. Attach cardboard and paint a geometrical sheep face from Minecraft. Define the hooves with brown acrylic paint. Add the signature pixels on the body. Ben puts the sheep onto the desk and Stevie immediately laughs at his neighbor. Are we in kindergarten? But when Stevie breaks his pencil, the sheep comes to the rescue because it's a handy four-legged pencil sharpener. Does Ben need an eraser? No worries, Stevie will call for help now and they will throw down a supply drop. I mean, an eraser box to the coordinates on the map. The parcel lands where we need it just in time. Cut two squares out of an eraser. Hot glue them together. Cut out some eraser strips. Cut half of the strips and hot glue them to the sides of the cube, shaping across. Add dots with silver acrylic paint. Make them look like nails. Cut wire and wrap the entire cube with it. Attach a golden Christmas tree ornament on top. Stevie opens the parcel. It's an eraser for Ben. Mutual help. Ben erases the pencil marks right away, but Miss Smith picks out her winner. On second thought, she points her pickaxe at Ben. Playing video games all the time is bad for you. The whole world might turn into pixels. Did you come to class before everyone else? That's weird. Fine, I'll wait. But it looks like there's already someone in the classroom. A poltergeist? The ghost of the previous professor? Or my great-grandma's spirit? Or a Minecraft creeper! Attach a printed picture of a creeper to a magnetic sheet. 
cut it into pixels. Ha! I see it! Of course you do! Because these are just board magnets! The prank was a success! Who would have thought that Ben is such a scaredy cat? We invented a new kind of prank! The words from the board mysteriously disappear while the professor isn't looking! What is it? Magic? A curse? Or a Minecraft ghost? Cut an old blackboard eraser in half. Cut a hollow in one half and glue strips of black felt inside. Glue the other half of the eraser on top and wrap the colored part in black felt. Add square felt eyes. Where are my notes? Ah, I see! Someone put a ghost on my board! Let's see if it can erase your grades fast! It's just a board eraser! Nothing personal! What is happening here? This is the ceremony of choosing the king of the school! Whoever is strong enough to take out the legendary diamond sword from the Minecraft map will rule all the students! But nobody can do it! Until she showed up! What's going on? And what's that thing sticking out? Oh! Our queen! The lady of the diamond sword! From now on, we are your loyal subjects! Make a Minecraft sword out of perler beads. Cover it with parchment paper. And iron it. What is all this? Tin, explain to your professor! It's obvious! This is just a bookmark for the biggest fans of Minecraft! This is an important schedule! It needs to be on the board! But the pushpin doesn't work! Is this board made out of concrete? Come on! Stick! Fine, let's try something else! There is a marshmallow pickaxe right there on the desk! This weapon should do the trick! Wrap a bottle of white out in white clay. Add eyes and a mouth with a fine liner. Attach black light clay circles to the sides. Use a utility knife to cut the clay near the cap. Attach a white stick with a black plug. Let's hammer in the push pin! Thanks, Marshmallow! Hey, Alex! Please give me my Marshmallow back! You don't know how to work it at all! It's not a pickaxe, it's Whiteout! It's obvious that you are a total Fortnite noob! Tin has a favorite marker. Of course, everyone dreams about finding a Fortnite llama. Shape a llama head from polymer clay. Attach it to a marker. Add clay eyes and a harness on top. Adjust the shape with a modeling tool. Bake the llama without the marker according to the package instructions. Cut felt into a fringe and attach it to the body of a marker with the llama head attached. This llama helps me find the most important parts of my notes, and it can help you crank your friend. Everyone knows that there are treasures hidden inside a Fortnite llama. Let's see if Alex falls for my trick. Alex, look, I found a llama, and there were a lot of school supplies in it. How did you do that? Is this llama really magical? I want to try it too. Come on, hit it harder! You can practice! You need to get used to this llama! Two hours later, Alex's fingers are about to fall off! And still no results! Alex is so naive and very easy to prank! My Minecraft pig notebook will be the perfect prank this time! 
Cut pink foam paper into squares. Make it look like pixels. Hot glue them to a notebook cover. Use pink squares to shape a pigtail on the back. Make a muzzle on the front cover. Attach a makeup sponge and foam paper squares as a snout. And add black and white eyes. Hey, Alex! Look! I made a real Minecraft pig! And if you hit it with a sword, it gives you meat! Isn't it awesome? Try it! This is just a notebook, not a real pig! Hey, guys! What are you doing instead of studying? We cooked a tasty Minecraft-inspired pork steak for you! Have some! Mmm, delicious! Ben is getting ready for class. And here is his tiny Poro. Hi! Did you smell cookies? Shape white polymer clay into a circle. Attach brown horns on top. Make cuts around so it looks like fur. Shape eyes. Attach little paws to the bottom. Add a pink tongue. Cut circles out of brown clay using a cap. Make them look like bitten cookies with a straw. Bake the pieces following the clay package instructions. Color a marker with acrylic paint. Hot glue the pieces to it. Coat it with acrylic polish. Oh, so many treats! Our little Poro will take care of them. Hey, where are my cookies? Don't look at me like that. It's Poro's fault. What is Ben hiding? It's Yumi. The magical cat is keeping an eye on the textbook. Draw a picture of Yumi from League of Legends on white foam paper. Color it with acrylic paint. Hot glue wide elastic ribbon and attach Yumi to it. Put the ribbon onto a book like a bookmark. Hey, new girl, take a book. Oh my gosh, is it magic? This is just Yumi practicing. The bookmark turned out to be magical. Ben is in heaven. He's so calm and relaxed. No distractions, no annoyances. Because he's got a magical shield. Cut a League of Legends shield out of a kneaded eraser following a template. Make hollows inside just like on the shield. Attach a decorative stone to the center. And add artificial moss. Miss Smith can scream as much as she wants. Ben's world is still full of peace and harmony. His magical shield erased all the noise in the room. He'll win this game. Is this burger? So you think it's an eraser? This is just some crazy sandwich. Mix cornstarch, construction silicone, and acrylic paints. Shape two parts of a burger bun. Make a patty. Create a texture on the edges with a wooden skewer. Put the patty on. Join it with a toothpick. Place a slice of cheese on top. And a tomato slice. And a hanging tongue. And cover it with the top of the bun. Put 3D eyes onto toothpicks. Stick them into the burger. Draw pupils with a permanent marker. Put a fake olive on a stick on top. No, Ben! It's more than just a sandwich. It's an actual burger from Fortnite. Another day, another fight in class. <laughs>
Miss Smith is so done with these gamers. In that case, we'll just erase her with a burger. Did it work? But not for long. Miss Smith saved the game, so she's back in class. I wonder what Stephanie is hiding in her backpack. A mysterious vegetable. It's tomato head. Hmm, what can it do? Wrap a jar of Play-Doh in light clay. Shape a tomato. Press in a mouth with a modeling tool. Make a mustache out of clay. Shape eyebrows, hair, and a stem. Color the tomato with acrylic paint. Color the face. Let's see. Oops! Hey! What did you do to Tomato Head? Boy, oh boy! Don't get upset, Ben! You can still make something nice out of this Play-Doh! Tomato Head sends you a heart! The new girl needs a pencil. Yay! Now Stephanie's time to shine. Here, my battle unicorn will help you. Draw the Fortnite unicorn pickaxe on parchment paper. Shape pieces out of polymer clay following the template. Cut out the mane. Make cuts with a modeling knife so it looks like hair. Attach clay to the lead. Press in a spiral hollow to be a unicorn horn. Add a harness and an eye. Attach a polymer clay ring to the pencil. Bake the pieces following the clay package instructions. Color the horn with gold acrylic paint when the clay cools. Coat the unicorn with acrylic polish. And hot glue it to the pencil. Oh, it's so cute! Be careful, it's still a pickaxe! Oops, I didn't know this pencil is a very serious weapon! Sorry, Miss Smith! I didn't mean to destroy school property! There's a mysterious summoner at our school! It wants to lure the new girl into its favorite game, League of Legends! Paint a pencil to blue! Draw the League of Legends logo on thick cardboard. Cut it out with a modeling knife. Make two pieces. Color the logo with acrylic paint. Paint the name of the game on foam paper. Hot glue the logos to the sides of the tube. Attach the label. Come with me! We will destroy all the towers together! Hey you! The bell rang! Sit down and give the new girl her pencil case back! It turns out that Stephanie is Cuddle Team Leader! Watch out, Ben! Ah! Your hug is way too strong! Now I can be friends with the new girl and give her a really nice pencil case. Cut a bear head out of cardboard. You'll need two pieces. Trace the head on pink foam paper. Leave half an inch allowance for fastening. Cut it out. Snip the edges. And hot glue the foam paper to the cardboard. Wrap both pieces in foam paper. Cut out a rectangle inside of a foam paper strip. Stick a pink zipper into it. Hot glue a wide strip of foam paper around the perimeter of the head. That's the bottom of the case. Attach the zipper on top and glue on the other piece. Cut out face pieces out of white foam paper. Color them with acrylic paint and attach them with multi-purpose glue. Why would you need any kind of leak if Cuddle Team Leader is here? All school supplies fit into it. 
It's so cute and pink. Girls love things like this. The lesson is in full swing. Let's go get some A's. No, Casper. You are holding your pen wrong. I'm going to show you. Hold your pen like this. Now do it. But Casper is at it again. Let's try again, darling. It's no use. Casper has his own methods. But Miss Ashley knows what to do. We need some rubber bands. It's easy to secure the pen at the right angle with them. Now it'll stay on course. Keep going, Casper. You are doing great. And Molly is trying so hard today. She writes without stopping oh. all through class. Pencils and pens actually made her finger hurt. Blisters are a big deal. We need a soft pen. And it's very easy to make. Let's glue some fluffy fabric to the pen. Wrap it around all sides and glue it along the joint. Mmm, so soft. But we're not done. The pen needs to be decorated. Let's make a ball out of air dry modeling clay. And cute ears. This will be a cat. Let's make her a face. Add the eyes and the nose. And glue the fur to the tips of the ears. That looks perfect. It's not too hard to hold now. These are so soft. No more blisters on our fingers. Guys, look at the board. Unfortunately, Casper is no good with equations. Who needs math? Tim isn't struggling. With his super glasses, he can solve any equation. Help me out, Tim. You don't have to be a genius to become a great mathematician. Just color over the glasses with a red marker. Done! These glasses will help decode the cheat sheet. Write the formulas and sketch them in red. This is no cheat sheet for the teacher. Just a sheet of random scribbles. Nothing suspicious. Mm. Well done, guys. Way to go. Woohoo! It seems like someone forgot to do her hair this morning. Long hair is beautiful. But it's so uncomfortable. We should help Molly. But I don't have any hair clips, Andy. A pair of binder clips will do the trick. Molly, let us give you a nice hairstyle. Tuck your hair in at the sides and secure it with clips. Stylish and comfortable. We can get back to the lesson. And now, here's a super complicated task. Let's draw a perfect circle in the notebook. This is a tricky one. Especially when you don't have a compass. But hmm. Tim won't give up. A compass can be made out of whatever you have lying around. Take two pencils and a rubber band. Tie the pencils with the rubber band. Almost done. Put an eraser between the pencils. Mission accomplished! With this compass, it's easy to draw a perfect circle! Tim did it! Awesome! That idea deserves a high score! Wow! PE class is about to start! But first, height check! Only the strongest and bravest students are allowed to use this equipment. Molly wants to participate too, but she's not tall enough. I wish I were taller. But how can I make that happen in a couple of minutes? I have an idea. We need to update my favorite sneakers. Cut insoles out of rubber mats. The more the better. Now glue them to the sole. And our sneakers are growing right before our eyes. And Molly's getting taller. We got nice, soft shoes. And now, let's see if it worked. Height check passed. Molly must have eaten a lot of oatmeal. 
Then let's go to the gym. P.E. won't wait. You can't beat math that easily. There is only one way out. A cheat sheet. Hmm. But where do you hide it? The most important secrets are always hidden in plain sight. This rule works for cheat sheets, too. Write down all the smart formulas on a transparent folder. Use a purple marker. Now put the purple paper in the folder. The new cover for the notebook is ready. Let's glue it on. And to see the formulas, insert a piece of white cardboard. This cardboard flashlight works wonders. It's time to start the test. Solve an equation? Easy! Take out the flashlight and get to work. And most importantly, the teacher won't even notice. It looks like an ordinary hmm. notebook. But it has a magic cover. You have to think a lot at school. No pencil can handle this much stress. Casper, pencils are not food. Miss hmm. Ashley, what else is there to chew on? Something else. Miss Ashley is going to show you. Let's just borrow a leg from the plastic baby. We remove everything we don't need and glue the heel to the pencil. That's it. Don't be sad, Casper. Here's your new pencil. So, are you going to chew it now? No way. Gnawing a doll's foot is so gross. And Casper is a serious student. Dirty shirts are every mother's worst nightmare. What's oh. that, Molly? Mom, it was an accident, I swear. But you can't wash <sighs> that off. So, we'll mm. cover it up. Lay out the shirt on a piece of cardboard. Some acrylic paint and a brush will help us. A cute red fox will go over the stain. Get creative. Whatever it takes to hide the stain. Mix the paints to make it look 3D. And add layers of paint where the stain is visible. The head, the body, and the fluffy tail. Our fox is almost ready. Give it time to dry properly. And then we draw the face, the nose, and the eyes. We are going to need black paint. We'll also use it to go over the outline. And let's make our fox bright. Let's add maximum color to the drawing. The print has to dry, and then you can try it on. Molly's updated shirt will make a real splash. Wow! Wow! Tim is back for a retake of the test. What grade will he get this time? I hope we're lucky today. Or else my parents will be so mad. Tim, that's no good. You got an F again. That means you failed. We'll have to take extreme measures. It's easy to become an excellent student. A couple of strokes and an F becomes an A. No magic, just skills. My parents will be pleased and I won't get punished. Everyone, be quiet. Molly's doing something here. But rainbows are so complicated. Nothing is turning out. Mom! What's wrong, honey? Oh, yes. This rainbow doesn't look so good. But Mom knows how to fix it. We can totally change this up. Let's take rainbow markers. We lay them out evenly in a row and we tape them together. And now, let's check out the Mega Pen in action. It's great! Even a child can do it. This is for you, Molly. Wow. No problem with rainbows now. And you can draw so many other patterns. The potential is endless. And today in math, we are studying angles. It's so interesting and easy. But it's not for everyone. Miss Ashley seems to have tried so hard. All for nothing. But now she will explain everything with her hands. 30 degrees, hmm. 45, 60, 
And finally, a right angle! That makes sense now, doesn't it? Oh no! Things got even more confusing! It's alright, we'll explain on our fingers! And it's simple! Five fingers are five angles! Let's draw and sign them for clarity! Wow! Look at this, guys! Here are our angles! Now you try it! Wow! Turns out math can be interesting! All you have to do is trace your hand and find the secret angles! Drawing class doesn't always go according to plan! Casper needs to fix something! Where's the eraser? I must have left it at home! That's too bad! Mm. Molly, do you have an extra eraser? Anything for my desk mate! Use it, Casper! It's nice to have a good friend around! And anyone can make these eraser earrings! Let's take a couple of beautiful erasers! And here we go! Make a hole in each of them! And then we glue the hooks! Just let the earrings dry and try them on! Now the eraser is always on hand! Or rather, on the ears! The multiplication table seems so difficult! This is impossible to memorize! Don't even try to convince us otherwise! But Miss Ashley can make it simple! Let's take the first example to illustrate! Draw two vertical lines and one horizontal line! How many intersections do we have? That's right! Two! There's our answer! Two times one equals two! Every kid can do their multiplication table now! And you won't have to think twice! What's two times two? Two vertical lines, two horizontal lines! We have four intersections! The answer is four! Tim is about to show what he can do! He has the hardest exercise! What is two times five? Lines will come to the rescue again! Count the intersections and we're done! The answer is 10! Well done, Tim! You get an A! Now that the kids have understood, it's time to move on to the hard part! How about this one? Oh no! How about we save it for next semester? Hmm. The best way to get to know your students is to give them a test! And to get to know them even better, Miss mm -hmm. Emily has a trick! Hey, classmates! Hey. Yay! People are gathering! It's about to start! New girl? Hey. Wow! Students love meeting new mm. people! <gasps> they say there's a test coming up? Oops! Introductions will have to be rescheduled! Well, the teacher's away, we have to cheat! Mm. Finally! Here we go! Mm -hmm. Where don't students hide their cheat sheets? In their sleeves? How inventive! Well, I guess it's time! Miss Emily saw everything she needs! Hey. Well, hello again! Oh, this seems to be the wrong new girl! It's time to take off the mask and dot the I's and cross hey. the T's! Now hand over the cheat sheet! How embarrassing! And awkward! Hey. Here you go! Yeah, that wasn't the best introduction, to put it mildly! Mm -hmm. Every class has that one guy who's hey. always late! Excuse me! Slinking to the back of the class, as usual. What time is it? Oh. Martin is clearly worried about something. And it's not tardiness. Finally, she turned away. Hmm. What's hmm. that smell? Miss Emily's got a great nose. Hmm. What are you doing here? Hey. Oh no! They won't even let hmm. me eat in peace. Give me that food. But Martin doesn't give up easily. The search won't help. See? It's empty. There's nothing to be done. She must continue the lesson! Ha <laughs> ha! The prank was a success! Martin rejoices! The teacher was tricked! Both trickster and snack are saved! Speaking of food, come to me, my treasure! Mmm! Perfecto! Hey! Sorry I'm late! Alice slept through all her alarms today! And didn't have nearly enough time to get ready! Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get started, uh... class! Everyone is working! But Alice can't pay attention until her makeup is done! I have the palette with me! I just have to hide it well! Scotch tape plus a notebook 
equals the perfect makeup cover-up. Where's the eyeshadow? There isn't any! Does anyone even know the answer? And while others are earning good grades, Alice is getting her makeup on fleek. You, in the back, are you okay? Hey. Oh, <gasps> of course! I look totally normal and very mm -hmm. pretty. I can really see it. What's your secret? Mm. Miss Emily is on the hunt. <gasps> Maybe it's in the notebook? No, I think it's fine. Still, you need to be taking notes, not staring into space like that. No problem, Miss Emily. <laughs> Just look away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what are these students doing? Failing miserably? It's time to teach them a lesson and try out the new disappearing ink pen. An F turns into an A+. Plus. Hmm? Everyone's curious about the test results. Hey. Oh, I see. <gasps> Things are looking pretty good. Take the quizzes. Wow, the grades are great. We were so worried for nothing. The class is excited. They are ready to throw a party. I can't believe it. I didn't study at all. Wait, what? What's going on? It's like magic. Where did my good grade go? <gasps> what a prank. Ugh. Yeah, hey. looks like the pen paid off. You should have studied, class. The teacher's prank worked. Thank goodness for a pen like that. Now here's a life hack for fashionistas. Take a lipstick and a plastic egg. Attach the lipstick to the egg. Fancy camouflage. Now glue the box to the pencil. Voila! Oh, what time mm -hmm. is it? Time to put on some lipstick. You fix your makeup and the teacher doesn't notice anything. Hey, mm. what are you doing? You have to get the neighbor on the good side so he doesn't make Ooh. too much noise. Here's something for you to do. A pencil with a sweet surprise. Oh, my mm. gosh. Mm, cool. But what's hey. that? Oops, how did the cheat sheet get in here? I have no idea. The word test inspires fear. Here are the materials. Oh, no. Alice really wasn't ready for this. Aww. It's good to have Martin around, but mm -mm. he's not in the mood today either. Well, I didn't feel like it. Covering his work like a first grader. Don't even think about peeking, okay? Don't be so greedy. But Alice is no slouch either. Smile! Why not take mm -hmm. selfies with your favorite nerd? What are you doing? Oh, it's done! It's done! I got what I wanted! Guys, quiet! You're having a test! No problem, Miss Emily! You just have to zoom in on the picture! Zoom was invented by geniuses! So, what are the answers? Have you calmed down? That's mm -hmm. right, silly nerd! He didn't suspect a thing! There are times in school when you just can't figure it out by yourself! Do you know what the answer is? And even the hey. collective mind doesn't work. That huh? leaves one way out. Excuse me, ask the teacher. Hmm. Um, why isn't she responding? Hello, staring at her notes, no reaction. Hey, Miss Emily, should I tap her on the shoulder? Hello, hmm. oh no, not again. Hey. Someone's about to be exposed. Hmm. Well, the screen has fallen. Oops, where was I, guys? Mm. Let's write down a new topic and homework. Nice try to cover up the incident, but it looks like the students don't care about studying now. Miss Emily, it's so funny when you doze off. <laughs> Class, get your pens and get ready to take notes. The lecture is good, but Alice has a little problem. Write that down. Aww. Yeah, let me just find a pen. Anybody got a pen? Mm -mm. The neighbor only has an ink holder. No, that's not going to work. <sighs> Whatever. What about the pencil case? Hmm. There's only a balloon. Hmm. <gasps> that's an idea. Let's put the ink holder in the balloon. Can I borrow your slime? Hey. What on earth is she up to? How is slime going to help her? It will seal mm -hmm. the ink holder. Duh. Voila. It's all ready. Whoa. You gonna apply for a patent with an invention like that? Even Miss Emily appreciated it. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Kudos for the invention. A phone is like a living cheat mm. sheet. How did we ever live without them? Hey, 
Hey, Martin, hey. give me your phone. Mm. Oops, she caught you. But that's okay. You just have to swipe to the right. Oh, there it is. The picture with the dead battery. Mm. Here you go. It's dead, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just used to having uh -huh. my phone around all the time. Okay, here you go. And don't forget to charge it next time. Yay, it worked. This is the best life hack ever, right? Here's your assignment for today, class. A little work never hurt anyone. But what can the teacher do? It's so boring. And there's still a lot of time to the break. Coffee is the only thing that brings me joy. Hmm. This travel mug is more versatile than it looks. Let's attach a piece of double-sided tape to the smartphone and glue the gadget to the mug. Boom! And it's ready. Now to start playing your favorite game. Yes! I love racing. What's Miss Emily doing? She's mm. acting kind of weird. Oops, got caught up in the game. It happens. Don't get distracted. It's just that this coffee is, um, very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Maybe too refreshing. The students are shocked. Is she sure it's coffee? Do you have time to talk? Then turn in your notes. I'll be back for you, impossible level. Betty hates quizzes. I have a cheat sheet. But where should I put it? It's so hard to cheat without getting caught. Oh, I have a Band-Aid. All you have to do is draw a wound with a makeup liner. Mm -hmm. There you go. Attach the cheat sheet to the Band-Aid and tape over the fake wound with it. Aww. Assignments are on the desk. The hey. clock is ticking. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hey, what's wrong? Hey. I hurt myself. I'm in pain. Poor girl. Oh. The teacher is feeling kind of awkward. Don't worry, Miss Emily. It'll heal in no time. Break is the best time to rest and prepare for hey. the test. And while someone is socializing, bingo! Alice gets a genius idea. Why not write a cheat sheet on a ribbon? Carefully, formula by formula. Wow! Impressive! But now where do I hide this scientific canvas? In the braid, of course. That's where it belongs. Let's start the test. Ugh. Looks like Martin and Betty are experiencing a total failure. Alice, on the other hand, has everything under control. I love my hair. Mom loves watching cartoons with the kids. Nothing can get in the way of family time. Well, almost nothing. Uh -oh. oh no, honey, your lollipop got so dusty. You can't eat that. It's too unsanitary. Mom can use this nice life hack. The yolk from a Kinder Surprise will do just fine. In this package, the lollipop will be safe and sound. It's time to try out Mom's invention. Much better. Honey, you have to oh, eat no. fruit. They are full of vitamins. But I do not want to, Mom. So what am I supposed mm. to do? Bingo! Hmm. Why didn't I think of it before? For fruit jelly, we dilute the gelatin with water and then we mix it thoroughly. Now it's time wow. to add the fruit juice. Use a poppet as a mold for the future jelly. Mm. Put it in the fridge until it sets. Yeah. Daddy loves Italian food. What can't be said for his son? Pasta again. I don't feel like mm -hmm. it at all. Keep calm. Hmm. What if? Ordinary pasta can become magic. The secret ingredient is food coloring. Wow. Mm -hmm. Magic outside of Hogwarts. Colored spaghetti are so yummy. I think mm -hmm. we did it. The parents now know how to find an approach to any food. The battle for the TV remote control is in full swing. The daughter wants to watch her favorite cartoons. And her brother obviously doesn't like it. That's not fair. Let's watch Tom and Jerry. I don't want to. Uh-oh. It looks like there's a real fight brewing here. Parents are already rushing to help. We must find a compromise as soon as possible. Oh. The clock life hack. What are you up to? I'll show you. Let's divide the clock face into uh -huh. sectors. Pink and blue. It looks like the kids yeah. can't wait to see what mom came up with. I think I got the idea. Blue is the brother's cartoon oh. time and pink is the sister's. 
That's it! It's all fair! Deal! Thanks. So excited to watch a cartoon over tea and goodies! Except mm -hmm. the phone keeps falling down! Wow! What are you doing here? The oh. phone doesn't want to hold it all! Help me, mm. Daddy! It looks like the cup mm. is an unreliable support! Let me see! I don't have any ideas! Mm. And Mom, as mm. always, has some thoughts on that! Using a stencil <sighs> and a 3D pen, we draw the outline of the oh. dinosaurs! Then connect the contours mm. with lines! And paint the whole figure green! Mm. Isn't it so cute! Draw the eyes! Oops! Hmm? And the cute stand is ready! Now the girl can watch her favorite Troom channels! And the parents will be happy to keep her company! Mom called for lunch, which means it's time to wash your hands! The baby can barely handle the awkward dispenser! Mom doesn't forget the rules of hygiene either! Oh no! They're so fall over the sink again! But wait! Mom's got a great life hack! A rubber band will fix the situation! Everything genius is simple! And of course, do not forget about disinfection! Except the son doesn't listen to his mother! Well, what do you say to that? Hmm. Superhero monster eliminator! Not a single germ will get through! Mm. Our young hero is on guard of cleanliness! Not a minute to lose! All parents know how hard it is to tear mm. a child away from the screen! Can we go drink tea? I'm watching true cartoons! But you can put them on pause, right? No! no. How about you do it for me? Nope! Yes, it's not an easy task, but mom can handle it! Distraction life hack! We put a glass cover on the drawer! Oh, I almost forgot! Let's add light effects! I wonder what mom is doing there! Almost done! The finishing touch! Colored sand! Curiosity seems to have taken its toll! And what is this? You'll find out! We'll draw with sand on the glass! Pour the sand on the illuminated table! How beautiful! And now, we can start drawing! You are the best mom in the world! The light from the garland shines through the sand drawing! It's breathtaking! It's always yeah. more fun to draw with someone! Looks like the mission has been accomplished! There's a little <laughs> hurricane wreaking havoc in the kitchen! This boy has endless energy! Yahoo! Whoops! My leg! What happened, son? Did you fall? What do we do now? I can't handle this without mm. mom here! Honey, it happened again! It's not a floor, yeah. it's a skating rink! Mom has a plan! All it takes is a pair of baby socks! We take some hot milk glue and make a pattern on the soles! Done! Now we are not afraid of a slippery floor! Great, son! Mm. But be more careful! The latest episode of Zombie Apocalypse is so interesting! You just can't stop watching it! I see someone's taken over my laptop! Huh? No way! It's a real bread disaster! What was it they taught me? Oh. Um... Wait a minute! That's what I need, buddy! But not as an anti-stress! Oh. The slime gets all the crumbs out of the hardest to reach places! Hmm? Daddy! Can I try one? Cool! Yeah. Anytime, son! Om nom nom! Collaborative painting is in full swing! Just look! Our kids are drawing! They are so clever! And they are trying so hard! Psst! Sis! How about we draw uh -huh. on the wall? Hey! Where are the kids? No! I'll draw a butterfly and you draw a flower! Stop it immediately! You can't draw on the walls! Unless it's yeah. special wallpaper for drawing! Installing the rail with a roll on the wall! It's easy! Kids, everybody over here! Now it's even more fun to paint! Let's go play with the cars, sis! The finished drawing can easily be cut off! And the blank canvas is ready for new creativity! 
And why do boys scatter their cars everywhere? How did this one get here? They say genius ideas come in the most unexpected places. An ordinary sleeve and brightly colored duct tape turn into a roomy fleet of cars. Wow! Now this is cool! Each car has its own private garage. It's time to race off-road. Whoosh! Whoosh! No doubt about it. We're looking at the future artist. Just look at that expression. Except daddy doesn't seem to like it at all. That's my oak table. But there's no limit to the inspiration. Wow. Why is it so slippery in here? Daughter, what have you done here? We need to get daddy's support right away. Don't panic, honey. I can fix this. A zip bag plus squash paint equals happy parents. Pour the paint into the bag and close it securely. And now for the fun part. Here's your new palette, honey. You can draw on it with your fingers. Wow, what fancy patterns. But that's not all. You can choose any colors you want. Daughter seems to like her father's coloring a lot. Honey, you are a genius. Room pillow fights are commonplace for siblings. Mom is shocked. The whole place is such a mess. And how do we clean it all up? SOS! Calling daddy for help. What's wrong, honey? Wow! Was there a hurricane? Kids, you need to clean up after yourselves. No way! In that case, I've got a fun game for you. Fill these buckets. Place the toys according to the pictures. Whoever does it first wins. Ready, steady, go! The clean up your room as fast as you can challenge has begun. This is the most useful life hack of all. Look how clean it is. You guys did a great job. So, how about some ice cream? 